Hi guys, so I'm sort of like fresh out of the shower. My hair is still a little bit wet, excuse me. Um, but I wanted to talk about the brand new Tartlet Blue palette that I just picked up. Um, you may remember that Tarte came out with the Tartlet palette, I wanna say last year I picked this up. So this palette is a super, super pretty pa uh, palette. I'm sure you've seen tons and tons of videos on it. People do love it. It's a great neutrals palette. So the Tartlet in Bloom palette, I think I just called it in blue palette. In Bloom palette is brand new. Um, I wanna say that this was initially exclusive to Ulta. I know that's where I picked it up whenever it first came out was on that website. So it is, you can see they are the same exact size. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and do some swatching for you. So it comes with a little card that gives you some looks, which is really nice to have. Um, it is a very, it matches the actual outside of the package. It's a really pretty package. It's nice material. It is sort of like a very hard plastic material and almost because of the glossiness feels like metal. It's very fingerprint, um, fingerprint prone, <laughs> I guess is the right word to use. Um, so the palette itself has a very large mirror. Um, it says on it, Tartlet in Bloom on the actual mirror. It is a really nice mirror. It doesn't bend all the way back. It stays up so that if you have this set on a counter, you could use it um, if you're into that sort of thing. So this is the palette itself um, from an upside down of the actual view of it. So as you can see, you've got a nice array of light colors. Um, medium colors and then you have your darker colors you have some frost over here um, so we'll start out with the top row I'm going to turn it right side up I apologize um, let's see if we can get the mirror out of view yeah there we go um, so the top row is actually you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this way in threes so the first three are charmer flower child and funny girl charmer flower child and funny girl charmer flower child and funny girl funny girl is the name of a Barbara Streisand movie you guys are probably like all way too young to even know that but really nice light colors I don't think that you're gonna be able to really pick them up but I do have um, some of these colors on my eye today so they are nice products to work with um, the next three colors I'm going to swatch are sweetheart smarty pants <laughs> that's cute and jet setter I have jet setter as my um, um, crease color today. So they're very, they're all Mac, um, these colors. So I have Sweetheart, Smarty Pants, and Jet Setter. Jet Setter is probably the only one that you'll be able to see swatched so far. So it's a nice matte mid-tone color. You can see I have it on my eye right now. Blends really nicely. I had no problems with these. The next row that I'm going to show you is Rebel, Firecracker, and Rocker. Um, I did use Rebel in my um, outside V today. So Rebel, Firecracker, and Rocker. Really nice colors. This Rebel is really, really pretty. That's all three of them. So really, really pretty colors. I'm kind of wiping as I go here with a little white, but I want to do my last row, which is going to be the darkest row. So we have Leader, which I also used a little bit in my outside corner, and Activist and Smoke Show. I used Activist the other day. I thought it was gorgeous. So here we go. These are going to be our dark ones. So we have Leader, 
Really pretty color. Sorry about my nails. I've been repainting furniture. Um, activist, which happens to be this finger. Activist. <laughs> Ironic. And smoke show. So really pretty colors. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them here. Nicely pigmented, really nice colors. So the next thing that I kind of want to do, my hands are going to be a mess now, so just be prepared, is compare it to the next, the, the original part, Tartlet palette, which may now be known as the Tartlet one, and then this could be known as the Tartlet two, or, but it's called Tartlet in Bloom. So the first thing that I thought whenever I first saw it was, was is this really similar to the other one, is it too similar? Should I not get the, the second one? But in all actuality, I think that they are very, very, have very, very different colors. So this is the original one. I think that it has a lot more rose colors, um, golden colors. It does have some mauves. I think that the, the In Bloom palette is, in my opinion, a little bit more versatile. Um, just as far as ease of use, you've got like a little, I think you have more colors in this one. I think that they're both very different palettes. I think they're both beautiful palettes, but they both have their own attributes, which makes them individual palettes and different. So they're neutral with, with pops of colors. Um, I think they're both worth purchasing. Um, I'm super, super happy with the way that Tartlet in Bloom has been performing over the last few days. So that's my take on the Tartlet palettes. Um, if you have any more questions, um, let me know. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert a quick version of me using the palette. Sped up. So yeah, that's my take on the new Tartlet in Bloom palette. I definitely think that it is worth picking up. It's worth your, how much were these? I want to say that they were 45. I think they were actually less than that. Maybe $38. Um, I like these. I think they're great for travel. I really love the size of them. They basically like fit in the palm of your hand. The actual palette itself is nice. They're blendable. They're, they're neutral, but they're not like boring neutrals. I think that they're really, really nice, um, palettes to pick up. I think it's worth having both of them. If you already have the Tartlet palette and you're like, should I pick up Tartlet and Bloom? I think it's worth it. I think they're really pretty. I love this eye look that I came up with, um, today using it. I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks daytime friendly. I think that it could also be nighttime friendly. Like I would wear this with party dress or something. Okay, guys, so that was my video for the day and my review of the Tartlet and Bloom palette, along with a little comparison of the original Tartlet palette. Bye, guys. Love you.